Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztofa Staszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smarturl.it forward slash pass. You can find information about the actuarial program at Illinois State University, which I direct at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to make a tax-deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's a problem for today for exam P on probability. The stock prices of two companies at the end of any given year are modeled with random variables X and Y that follow a distribution with joint density function equal to 2x for x between 0 and 1 and y between x and x plus 1. What is the conditional variance of y given that x is equal to x? Well, let's write f sub x of x for the marginal density of a function of um, x. Then that's equal to the integral from x to x plus 1 of 2x dy so the integral over all possible values of y of the joint density and of course 2x with respect to y is a constant so the integral is 2xy evaluated from y equal to x to y equal to x plus 1 and we plug it all in and we get 2x for x between 0 and 1 and of course f sub x of x is 0 otherwise because the joint density is otherwise um, 0 so uh, Therefore, the conditional density f sub y of y, given that x is equal to x, well, that's the joint density divided by the marginal of x. Well, that's um, 2x divided by 2x, so it's 1. Whenever y is between x and uh, x plus 1, and 0 otherwise. And, of course, constant density means uniform distribution. So y, given that x is equal to x, is uniform on the interval x to x plus 1 and therefore its mean as the midpoint uh, of that interval which is x plus 1 half and its variance, well it's a uniform distribution on a unit interval, so interval of unit length and the variance therefore is 1 12. The variance in general is um, the length of the interval squared divided by 12, in this case x plus 1 minus x, which equals to 1, squared divided by 12, so 1 12. Now you could calculate those parameters using calculus, but you shouldn't, because you should know key properties of the uniform distribution on the test. And so this is answer A. Please remember this is copyrighted material. The problem itself comes from Society of Actuaries. The solution is mine. Good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.